Okay, this is the demonstration video <clears throat> for the Travis Atkins style right hand exercises sheet that I sent out. Um, <clears throat> this will be a two-parter. Part one will be the first page of the worksheet and part two will be the second page. You'll notice each there's on each page there's four lines of music and each line has got two measures and they've all got a repeat sign. So think of them as there's four lines per page. So think of it as eight individual exercises that are all of a theme and they each one builds on the last so um, so I'm gonna go nice and slow here <clears throat> and uh, maybe we'll do a faster one for you to play along with later but for now here's what we want um, you'll notice there's, there's line one here is written out in eighth notes one and two and three and four I'm just using my thumb here the thumb is the essence of this thing I'm not playing the actual what it says there yet I'm just playing the bass notes but you notice my thumb does double duty on this. It plays every one of these eighth note beats. You're getting a thumb. So uh, all of the notes that are on the low three strings of the guitar, the E, A, and D, they're all going to be played with the thumb. When I add the others, we've got this. There we go. A little misstep there. So you see it's one. We got the bass note and then we've got those three notes that just sit there in the middle of your uh, open C chord here. And I'm only using two fingers and a thumb, so when I hit all three of those strings at the same time, that's the thumb playing that bottom note. One and two and three and four. So this is it. This is what we want to establish. If you never did anything except this finger style, this would get you a long way. Everything else builds off of this. Okay. Line number two. One and two. And ready and go. And one and two. Uh, and a one. Three and four. Uh, and a one and two. Uh, and a three and four. Uh, repeat. One and two. I'm going to go back to line one. Okay. Now I'm getting ready for line number three. Here it comes. Line number three. One uh, and a two uh, and a three and four uh, and a one uh, and a two. It's all just that thumb and first two fingers, and, um, and we're just alternating between sixteenth notes and eighth notes there. Let's look at line number four. One and two and ready and go and one uh, and a two uh, and a three uh, and a four uh, and a one uh, and a uh, and a three uh, and. A This one hasn't had any eighth notes. This is all sixteenth notes. Let's speed this up a little bit. And for those of 
those of you who haven't noticed this yet or have thought about it before, I'm just moving the bass note back and forth there with my left hand. Okay, line number one. Alright, we'll be right back with part number two, the second page.